ओके पिछली बार टू मीटर लॉन्ग ट्वेंटी एम एम थिक इज सब्जेक्टेड टू एन एक्सेल लोड ऑफ वन सिक्सटी किलोमीटर इन द डायरेक्शन ऑफ द लेंथ डायरेक्शन ऑफ इट्स लेंथ फर्स्ट ऑफ फाइन द चेंजेस इन लेंथ एंड विथ एंड थिकनेस ऑफ द बार टेक ई इज इक्वल टू टू हंड्रेड जी पी एंड पॉइजनस रेशियो टू बी पॉइंट थ्री फर्स्ट ऑफ ऑल रिटर्न दर गिवन डाटा सो पी इट इज लोड इट इज गिवन पी इज इक्वल टू इट विल बी वन सिक्सटी किलोमीटर वन सिक्सटी किलोमीटर वन सिक्सटी किलोमीटर पॉइजनस रेशियो इट इज ऑल्सो गिवन दैट इज म्यू इज इक्वल टू इज डिनोटेड बाय म्यू इज इक्वल टू पॉइजनस रेशियो इट इज ऑल्सो गिवन इट विल बी पॉइंट थ्री पॉइंट थ्री पॉइंट थ्री देन लेंथ इट विल बी गिवन टोटल लेंथ एल इज इक्वल टू इट इज टू मीटर टू मीटर Convert it is in mm. Two into ten raised to the power three in mm. Then next delta. Next thickness it will be given. Thickness P is equal to twenty mm. Twenty mm. And width it will be given. B is equal to B is equal to four hundred mm. Sorry, forty mm. Forty mm. So first of all, calculate the change in length. So we know that change in length delta L is equal to it will be. PL divided by A. Delta L is equal to change in length is equal to PL divided by A. P into L divided by A. Divided by A. Divided by A into A. A into A. So P it is. You know that P it will be. 160 kilonewton. So convert it is in newton. 10 to the power 3 kilonewton newton. So 2 it is. Here it is meter. Convert it is in mm. 2 into 10 to the power 3 divided by PL divided by AE. Cross sectional area will be how much? Cross sectional area of this will be 20 into 40. 20 into 40. So modulus of elasticity will be 400 GPa. So convert it is in newton per mm square, twenty into ten raised to three. Okay, here. Yeah. So e it is given e is equal to e is equal to two hundred GPa, two hundred GPa. So convert it is in newton per mm square. That is meant two hundred into ten raised to the power three newton per mm square, newton per mm square. Okay, so it will get. Change in length from this relation, it will be change in length. Okay. So one sixty into one sixty into ten raised to power three, ten raised to power three into two into ten raised to power three divided by twenty twenty into forty two hundred into ten raised to power three. So it will be two m. So change in length it will be two m. Okay, delta. Okay. So let me. Lateral strain is equal to, you know that. Lateral strain is equal to, or linear strain. But linear strain. First of all, calculate linear strain is equal to. So linear strain it will be parallel to the force direction. Okay. So this one we call it is linear strain. Okay. This we will call it is the linear strain. So linear strain it will be is equal to delta L by L. Delta L by L. Change in length by original length. Okay. Change in length by original length. Okay. So take all this value in mm. Delta L it will be two mm divided by divided by divided by. So original length it is two meter. So two into ten to the power three. So it will be in mm. It will be a linear strain. So linear strain it is denoted by small e. It will be denoted by small e. That is linear strain. So it will be two divided by two into ten to the power three. So it will be one into ten to the power minus three. One into ten to the power minus three. Linear strain. Okay. Ten and four minus. It will be. Linear strain. Okay, 
So now poisonous ratio, we know that poisonous ratio is equal to, it is, is equal to lateral strain by linear strain. So poisonous ratio will be lateral strain divided by linear strain, lateral strain divided by linear strain. Lateral strain divided by linear strain. Linear strain. Okay. Lateral strain divided by linear strain. So, so if we get lateral strain from this. So, really linear strain poisonous ratio will be 0 0.3 is equal to lateral strain, it will be unknown value. Lateral strain divided by so linear strain, it will be how much? Linear strain, it will be. One into ten raised to the power minus three. Okay. So this one it will be linear strain. So from this relation it will be lateral strain. Lateral strain is equal to lateral strain is equal to so point three into point three into point three into one into ten raised to the power minus three. So it will be three into ten raised to minus four. Three into ten raised to the power minus four. Okay, so this one it is lateral strain. Okay, so lateral strain means to be change in length to the change in thickness to the original thickness. So lateral strain means what? Lateral strain. Lateral strain is equal to. So this one it will be delta b by b change in thickness, change in width divided by original width, or 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 change in thickness by original or change in thickness by original change in thickness by original okay. change in thickness by original so lateral so first of all lateral strain it will be 3 into 10 raised to the power minus 4 is equal to so delta b we need to calculate delta b delta b by delta b by so small b it will be how much? Width it will be 40 ml. Width it will be 40 ml. 40 ml. So from this relation it will be get delta b. So delta b is equal to delta b is equal to 3 into 10 to minus 4 into 40. It will be 0 0.012. 0 0.0. This value it will be. 0 0.012 ml ml okay so same find out the same find out the delta t so same relation 3 into 10 raised to the power minus 4 is equal to is equal to delta t it will be delta t by t so t it will be how much it will be change in length to the original change in thickness to the original thickness so original thickness it will be 20 ml 20 ml so it will be get delta t is equal to 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 so 3 into 10 raised to the power minus 4 into 20 so it will be 6 into 10 raised to the minus 3 so change in thickness it will be 6 into 10 raised to minus 3. 6 into 10 raised to the power minus 3 in ml. Okay. So this one it is change in length and change in thickness. Okay. So linear when we apply force on that block, so linear strain it will be parallel to this force. Okay. We call it, it will be this length 2 meter, it is linear. The lateral it is perpendicular to the force that is we call lateral strain okay so lateral strain is equal to delta b by p or delta t by t so poisonous ratio will be let, lateral strain divided by linear strain okay so this one it will be calculated change in thickness change in width and linear strain okay